Okay, so I'm going to have a go at filming this. I don't know how well this is going to work. But the um, I'm putting the camera at a different angle than normal, as you can see, so I don't have to wrap my hands around the tripod like I normally would. Because I think I'm going to need all the dexterity I can get. Of course, my camera's not in my view, so if it shuts off, I'm not going to know. Oh well, we'll see how it goes. So, M3 screws, which should hopefully go into the core without any trouble. It says, as it pops straight back out again. Of course, uh, a horrible feeling they're not long enough actually. So, I might try how much more the ones. Looks like very far in. Well, we'll, we'll try it like that, I'll see how it goes. The assembly video for this shows it is quite tight, so... <laughs> and the heads are a bit big for the holes. <laughs> oh dear. That's not good. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There's a slight tolerance issue on the hole for the screws in, in the centrepiece there, so I couldn't get it to go down into the hole. <laughs> Turn my screwdriver around, and I'm not even doing it on camera. That's really helpful, wasn't it? <laughs> Let me just adjust that angle a bit. <coughs> Better. <coughs> Quite even. <coughs> I think that might be okay, actually. Yeah. They're not going in very far, but they've gone in a good few turns, so I think it should be okay. Fingers crossed. I'm not convinced actually, so I'm going to try these longer screws I've got. The problem is with these, the, the thread doesn't come all the way up, but I'm definitely concerned that these are a bit too short to be honest, so I'm going to try one of these ones. I, don't know if that, I think the head might be too big though to go in there, yeah. Yeah, that's not going to go in there, so that's no good either. <laughs> oh well, I'll just try it with these short ones and see how it goes. If not, they're not a Go and buy some longer ones, which is a shame because I won't really want to get this done <laughs> today. I don't know if you're anything like me, but once you get something like this, you want to you want to be able to play with it as quick as you can. <laughs> yeah, it's getting what three or four turns on it, I think so. I think it should be okay. It's a bit tight though compared to the other ones. The back goes off a little bit. Another spring, I thought I had six there. <coughs> yeah, 
have no idea how interesting this video is going to be for you. But obviously you can shut it off at any time if it's really dull or fast forward it. one I'm just trying to make sure the tensions are pretty even all round and that looks about right. Alright then, so let's see if we can start putting this thing together. Wipe the dust off as I go along with any of that. Fine, so I'm pretty sure that goes there. And goes underneath it. first maybe I know I do have to be careful to make sure I don't use the layer with this strange shaped centerpiece on it yeah that's better I can get quite get clipped into place right so then I'm sure I'll need two of those Looks good. Put it that way, I would imagine. There we go, excellent. It's looking good. So do the same again. <coughs> I wonder if I can put all four of those together at once before I attach them. that will work to be honest but how oh well <laughs> just put that yeah that's better These are quite snug, these pieces, so I think maybe I've got the screws slightly too tight. But we'll see once it's assembled. I can always slacken it off a bit, but... Yeah, they're definitely going in very snugly. <laughs> uh, right, a piece there. I'm 
course the um, 3D printing process has a bit of a tolerance to it so you do have to expect that there's a slight kind of imperfections so it's not always all going to fit as well as a mass produced puddle wood so it's a, you, you're going to expect there's going to be some slight differences and, and that's what the breaking in process is all about as well with these you have to do quite a bit of turns to kind of wear them in with each other oh it's getting there and I wonder what little gap that slot needs to slide into we don't want to go there we go <coughs> yeah, I must admit this is a little bit smaller than I was kind of expecting <laughs> I was expecting to be a bit bigger <coughs> well, this is kind of a quite a good price for what you see as well compared to other shape waste products um, you might be able to start getting an idea now what we're, what it is I'm building and I guess that's why it's a bit cheaper because it's um because it's smaller than other comparable puzzles. But that's fine as long as it works so right, it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay then, so that's that layer complete. So I imagine you should be starting to get an idea of what it is I'm building now. Alright, so now I need to start building some of these internal pieces. The slight roughness of these puddles, like you get with um, shape waste products, makes it a bit trickier than it would be on a mass produced puddle. They, um, on a mass produced puddle, they tend to slide into place a lot easier. I'm not convinced that's right actually. I've got the wrong piece in there. That must be that one that goes on there. Yeah, that looks better. Try that again. I'm so looking forward to playing with this puzzle. <laughs> I want it to be built now. <laughs> I'm such a child. I'm so impatient when I get stuff like this.
<laughs> That's not going well. <laughs> Let's try put them all in in one piece. <clears throat> And now filming on the floor. Excellent. There we go. It's always good when you get a nice satisfying clicking into position as well. You know it must be right. I had it. <laughs> God, my fingers are turning black. <laughs> All the dying powder. <laughs> push another one out. <laughs> right, so now hopefully we should be able to... Actually they feel quite tight so I think I'll finish off putting all of those in. <coughs> I'm going to try putting that little thin one in first perhaps, see if that makes it a bit easier. This one's slightly different because you've got these kind of bandaging pieces attached to the core here that keep everything aligned. But so I ain't got quite as many to put on on these sides anyway. Right, then we slide in there easier. and I think we're there. There we go. That was definitely easier. Maybe that's the way to do it. Of course this one's gonna, probably going to be the hardest being the last one on the layer. So there. Okay, so that's the whole of that bit done. Ah. <laughs> Note to self, put it down more gently than that. <laughs> Damn it. a bit loose on that side so I think I'm going to have to get a block around that first that's definitely the looser side 
So then, next we'll start off with a corner piece. I've just got to figure out which way round that goes. I suspect it's that way, looking at the grooves on it. Does that line up? No, it doesn't. So it's done not that way at all. I'll be reasonably careful with this because. And I showed you, it's got a very thin stalk on it, obviously I don't want to break it. So, maybe it's that one then, presumably. Yep, that'll be the one. <coughs> okay, what pieces? I think these will go on there. Yeah, I'm pretty certain that's the case, but is that the right one? Because there's two each. Oops, sorry. There's two different types of each design, one in each direction, that's the same one. That's the other way. Does that work? Yeah. I'm not sure which way they go together. Okay, so that goes with that one. Okay. So I'll just put it with a one that's not inserted yet to see which one it matches and there we go, that's all that's definitely the right one, that's cool. <laughs> Must be so much easier to put these things together when you're the designer. <laughs> going to go there I think actually isn't it so, yeah so I need something to go underneath them so let's have a look what can go under there nope Be something. <laughs> ah, there we go, that one. That's probably the wrong side. There we go. <laughs> Finally. So that goes in there. Gotta get the hook around those kind of inner edge pieces. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so that goes there, but I'm going to do the piece. That's the way we figure it out. <laughs> okay, so that goes under there. <coughs> so Center, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Well, and these pieces need to get in, because otherwise there'll be nowhere to slide it in. Let's get that one in. That's very centre. Okay. say this one went. <laughs> I'll be the wrong warm. Okay, so I can go there, I think. OK, 
Okay, sort of getting there finally. So we need a small piece of there. Probably one of them maybe. Now that looks like it goes there. Yeah. one of these maybe with the tiny hooks that's going to go somewhere yeah hasn't it I think that's going to go in there <laughs> what's half the problem with this is trying to figure out what order to put that things in in that looks good or does it uh, sunk down too low? That doesn't line up, so that's no good. <laughs> uh, it's going to be one of these ones, isn't it? There we go. That'll be the one. Same kind of shape, but a bit fatter. Excellent. There we go. Finally, sort of making progress. So now we've got one of them and one of them to go in somewhere. So they obviously go in that last spot, but which way round? One each of each kind. There we go. I think it's no, I won't. I think it's this one. Let's see. There we go. Yep, that's the one. So this one has to go in the last spot. All the way round. That looks good. Yeah, that one needs to go in earlier in the process, I think. Alright, so I finally got one section complete, and as I suspected, the camera stopped recording. Right, so now we're kind of hopefully we can move along a bit quicker now. Now I've kind of got an idea of what I need to do. Let's do this side. The other side of those loose centre pieces, is, uh, sorry, edge pieces, seems like a good idea. Oh, I'm getting new swine. There we go. The right one? Yep. Right, so then we need. One of these guys on top. Finally making progress at least. <laughs> and then you remember where this went. Actually, a good way of figuring them out is, is which piece goes where is put them in the wrong side and see where they line up because they can only be attached to the uh, kind of core section in one particular way. Okay, so that's in. Uh, now, what did we have next? Let's see. So we want the centerpiece to get that in there. 
early so it's not getting pushed to but it's got to go hook under all of the core bits like that and then it's one of the <laughs> I thought I'd be finding this easier by now <laughs> That's the fat one, isn't it? That's all right. Hmm, maybe not. <laughs> what does he want to go in there? I'm sure it is. Just uh, grab one of these end pieces and check. Well, maybe it's not actually. <laughs> what it was? Oh no, it's this one. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you didn't want to go in. That's the same as that one, isn't it? So that goes there. <coughs> the right one, it is. That goes in that slot there. There's some wiggling. There we go. So one of you must go on that corner. I doubt anyone's even still watching this by now, but if you are, <laughs> well done. <laughs> no, I don't want to go in right now, so I need to take something else out first. So I've finally got two of the blocks done. <laughs> um, I think you should be starting to get a good idea what this is going to be if you don't already know. 